What's up guys, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I wanna to talk about why you can't lose those last stubborn pounds. Now, to be clear, I'm not talking about going from zero to 20 pounds, or zero to 15, or zero to 50 pounds. I'm talking about like you've already lost a bunch of weight, but uh, you just can't seem to get those last few pounds off. So, if you wanna learn about what are the, some of the mistakes that you might be making, you wanna keep watching. And if you're new here, hello, I'm Tracy. I put out brand new fitness, wellness, and lifestyle videos every single week, so make sure that you subscribe to my channel, and for everyone, click on the little bell icon so that you know every single time I have a brand new video that goes live. So, let's get into this. So, number one reason that you might not be able to lose those last stubborn pounds is you're not eating enough. Now, this can be really counterintuitive, you know? I had a woman just recently reach out to me and said, you know what, Tracy, I'm down to 800 calories a day. And I was like, girl, because what happens to our body from a scientific, from a chemical perspective is our body goes into starvation mode. And so our hormones get out of whack and we think that we're starving, so what happens? that metabolism starts slowing down because you're not eating enough. So one thing that you can play with is start increasing what you're eating by a little bit. So you don't wanna go from, you know, like, I don't know, I'm not a calorie counter, but like what might be like 800 calories to like 3,000 calories, that's a big jump. And it probably also wouldn't feel good for your body. But just by increasing a little bit, maybe you have an extra serving of vegetables or an extra serving of soup or, you know, add in a little snack if you need one. So that your metabolism goes, ah, mm-hmm, we ain't starving. So it's really, really important. That is a dated method. You know, it's not the old calories in, calories out. It really is not the case at all. Okay, so number one, you gotta make sure that you're eating enough. We need to fuel this beautiful body of yours to know that it is safe to release those last few pounds. We got it? We got it. The number two reason why you might not be able to lose those last stubborn pounds is your hormones. Now here's the thing with hormones, and I am super passionate and have been about hormones for years now. Our hormones are constantly changing and in flux as women, okay? So don't believe the hype where like, oh, well, it's my hormones. I don't know about you, but I grew up with women saying that a lot. Well, it's just my hormones and thinking that was the end of the conversation. It's not. However, here's what happens when we are trying to lose weight and you're doing so with traditional dieting methods, okay? Our hunger hormones, because remember what I said, your body thinks it's starving, so our hunger hormone, which is ghrelin, okay, that starts telling you, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. So that's why, think about it, I used to be a dieter for 18 years, okay? When we go on these crazy, you know, calorie deficient diets, then it's like, just the smell of a slice of pizza makes you wanna just like run and grab it, okay? That's not because you're crazy, but it's because your hormones are fighting against you because again, your body thinks that you're starving. Now, there's a slew of hormones that all work together. So that's one is, is your hormone ghrelin that's telling you like, oh my God, mayday, mayday, you need to eat more, okay? Leptin is the hormone that tells us that we are satisfied, okay? And also, if you're not eating enough, sometimes that, that hormone, it doesn't tell you, okay, I'm good, I'm satiated, which it won't because, again, everything is out of whack here. And then lastly, you know, a third hormone that comes into play here is your cortisol. Ladies, when we go on these weight loss journeys, it can be, for many of you, very stressful. When is it gonna happen? When's the weight gonna come off? When is it gonna happen? Do you know what happens? That stress and that waiting and that frustration and that like, it's not happening fast enough. I lived that for like 18 years, so I know this firsthand. That raises your hormone cortisol. And a lot of you might know this, cortisol is the belly fat hormone, okay? So I have people in my life that eat very, very little, and guess what? Have very big bellies. Why? Because their hormones are totally out of whack. So we want to get our food to start working for us so that we have beautifully balanced hormones, okay? The number three reason why you just can't lose those last stubborn pounds is your metabolism 
might have slowed down. Because again, if you're constantly doing that old model of dieting, which does not work, and being really calorie deficient, your metabolism says, oh, we're starving, therefore we need to conserve our energy. And then what else happens? Your body starts breaking down your lean muscle mass. Lean muscle mass is really important because that's what gives you that fat burning power, right? When we're strong and we're healthy and we're really living in our best life, right? Um, our body, you know, we've got a lot of nice lean muscle mass. That's why I'm so passionate about the workouts that I do because it's going to increase that lean muscle mass, which by nature, having more lean muscle mass means that you are burning more fat without having to do a damn other thing. So, if you are starving yourself thinking that's the solution to weight loss, girl, you are setting yourself up for failure and that's just not correct. So those are your three top reasons why you might not be losing weight, okay? My mission is to help women to get to the truth of what is really required to live in bodies and lives that they love. And I'm telling you ladies, starving is never the answer. It's just not. So I want to hear from you. Let me know what your biggest takeaway was from this video. Leave me a comment down below. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends because this is a mission that we're on and together we can make a difference in the lives of so many women. All right, that's what I've got for you today. Let's stop making those mistakes, right? Let's shake on it. No more of that crap. No more starving. That crap doesn't work. All right, you guys, you guys are awesome. I will see you next time and have a great week. Bye.